There's the, uh, I'll just stop this. There's the uh, ties I put on there at the moment. I've made the bridge. I've used styrene across the sides. I've used um, HO track cut down the middle for the uh, ring rail. I put cork around here. When I made the inside, that's uh, builder's bog, which is uh, a resin, two part resin, that uh, I ended up uh, putting a blade on here. Uh, at, right, at right angles and then running this around and that put that perfect curve all the way around I made my own track gauges I made a brass one here this is uh, precision scale ON3 Code 83 rail and I made an aluminium one just uh, made the gap uh, right on there so I can just use these as rollers this is my uh, ON3 turntable I've made it's all scratch built so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to I've done the pipe work here a little lever for uh, the air operation of the um, turntable so I'm just going to blacken this now So I'll be black. I've done all the handrails as well. And once that gets on there, it'll blacken it and saves so having to paint it. I've laid cork, cork a strip around on top of the plywood base. I've put dirt on here. Real dirt, real dirt down in here. That's all styrene on a wooden block through there. And the bearing. I've got that sitting on a uh, spacer. Just to get me the right height up here for the rails. And um, I'll end up having a track coming in here off my module. This is going to be a module. I'm going to put another piece on the other end. And be able to turn the locomotive there then. So underneath I'm going to be putting a three revolutions per minute uh, geared motor that will drive that and then I'll have the DCC coming up through there and I'll put a little plate across here and cover that. So I'll show this later on when it's actually working. Still waiting on the uh, motor coming from China. Yeah, pretty happy with that pipe work. That's just uh, bits of wire and, uh, and brass tube.